Today I'd like to try out a new video format where I talk about upgrades to loot in Destiny that I get from week to week. You know, some new piece of gear that changes the way I previously played and makes the game more enjoyable. So to start off this series, I'm not gonna like label them numerically or anything, but just talk about each new piece of gear I get. To start off this series, we're going with the Antioch D. I finally got an upgrade to the stock version and this is a game changer to me because to explain it, I'm gonna talk about the last word. So as we know, last word snipe is a very formidable combo because you have the power of the snipe, which can one shot kill at any distance. Cross the map, up close. If you're a good enough shot, you can get the job done. But it's difficult to snipe like that because somebody can flinch you by just shooting you faster than you can aim down sights and line up the kill shot. It's difficult. I get that, so that's really what separates some of the best snipers in Destiny. However, the last word makes up for that in close quarters where it's arguably more difficult to line up that shot with everything happening so hectic in close quarters. So what the last word accomplishes here is it kills in four body shots or it kills lightning quick in three headshots. I'm kind of not a fan of the four body shot kill, but that's for another day. The last word's also great because it's a hand cannon, a lot of damage in a single shot, so you can still somewhat adequately contribute to team fights as long as they're within like 25 meters, which is reasonable on some maps. Especially if you don't have sniper ammo, you have to rely on your primary. So it's great, but what if I want to run an exotic power, like tractor cannon to deal with supers, thousand voices to deal with crowds and supers, or Wardcliffe Coil for pretty much the same thing, but at half the distance, however, I get to instant shoot it. There's pros and cons to each. So if I took off the last word, I'd have to go to the stock Anio before I get this one, right? And we'll look at this one real quick. Advantages here, kill clip, so I can get a speedier time to kill after a kill and I reload. Ricochet rounds for extended range. Hollow scope because not only is it clean, but it increases zoom which then gives you a better range drop off, which actually is better than the last word. For reference, the last word will drop off at 22 meters, which means at 23 meters, you have to go for a four tap, whether it's in the head or body. But uh, this antiope, this drops off at 28 meters. So you can actually outgun a last word as long as you're not within 22 meters. Or if you have kill clip, you can then outgun it again. But the problem with this one is when I throw it on, I'm missing a mod slot. So you see how my sniper has an Icarus grip right here because it's a Forsaken Season 4, Season 5, Season 6 weapon. I can put on any mod I want, but I can't put it on this Antiope because this is a vanilla weapon. Until I got this new Antiope. So I get to put an Icarus mod on here, and how this is a game changer for me is that when I have to take off the last word, to upgrade to an exotic power for any reason. I'm now throwing a big uh, playmaking opportunity by hitting my accurate shots in the air, which then might give me a kill clip earlier than usual, which then lets me duel with other last words, shotguns and recluse, etc. right? So this one's a game changer to me simply because it's almost as good as the stock roll but it gives me a mod slot, Icarus. Also, high cows I can't be too disappointed at, even though with Ricochet, this is going, the stock is gonna hit 28, the new one's gonna hit 25. I can't be disappointed with high caliber rounds because if I'm dueling a last word, if I'm dueling an ace or something at pretty reasonable distance, we're talking like 30 to 35 meters here, I still might flinch them and I still might win the gunfight. I hate that flinches in the game and high caliber rounds are very, very, at, uh, they're at the high end of the meta strategy right here is flinching your opponent. I hate to say that's the case, but it is. I can't be disappointed with this role. Stability Masterwork is a bit of a letdown because I already have Slideways, which boost handling and stability, and I'll probably be sliding most of the time anyway, so this perk has a lot of uptime. Uh, truthfully, I would have taken any perk in this slot as long as I have Kill Clip and a Hollow Scope. But I can't be too disappointed at Slideways either 
If I was going for a better guard roll, I would want field prep or snapshot, ricochet rounds here, holoscope, and arranged masterwork. If I get all those together, we're talking, I'm probably hitting the same 28 or 29 meters as the fixed roll, except I get the Icarus grip and then a faster reload when crouching or snapshot to hit people first. So I've definitely talked a lot about this weapon right now, and I have some gameplay footage in the background or at the end of this uh, little mini commentary for you to watch this gun in action. Keep in mind that whenever I use an antiope, that means I'm purposely going into a snipe heavy loadout. So you're going to see more sniper than you see antiope, but just look at how I transition between the snipe and the SMG when range is appropriate. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll just keep highlighting upgrades I get in my loot in the future. See you in the next one. Enemy down. Fire team that fights together stays together. This is amazing. Gains the lead. That's why we have fire team. This is amazing. Five minutes. Ten titans like you, I could build all seven columns and shake the pillars to their core.
three minutes. All I ask. Good. A single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a start. Good work. <laughs> 